Hey there, I'm Ashley, the Alaska Urban Hippie. Today I'm making pickled eggs and I'll show you how. So, I've got my recipe and the recipe calls for 11 eggs, um, distilled white vinegar, salt, um, pickling spices, and jalapenos in their juice. So I've got everything here ready to go. Um, the first step is boiling the eggs. So I've got a pot here uh, full, filled with water, and these are eggs from my backyard hens. So they're pretty fresh, but I've been saving this carton, so it's about a week and a half old. Um, sometimes fresh eggs can be more difficult to peel when they're hard boiled, and a little trick that I found was just adding some baking soda into the water when you're boiling. Um, this is just the container I keep my baking soda in, but I will start boiling up eggs. So the eggs are almost boiling, and since these are eggs from my backyard hens, um, sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to peel. So I'm going to add just a little bit of baking soda to the water to make it a little bit easier to peel them. I'm going to let these, once it reaches a, a rolling boil, I'm going to let it boil for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to let the water cool down just a little bit, and then I've got ice water back here. I'm ready to go. So I'll take out the eggs and put them immediately in the ice water so they can start cooling. So I boiled these eggs for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to transfer them over to ice water to get them to cool immediately. And I didn't boil a full dozen, I just did 11 eggs because when I've done pickled eggs in the past in a jar this size, um, 11 eggs would fit perfectly, but not 12. But it's just as easy to double the batch if you wanted to do 22 eggs and two quart jars. Now I'll just let the eggs sit like that and cool for a few minutes. Alright, so my hard boiled eggs have been cooling for a few minutes and they're cool to the touch. So I'm going to show you a trick on how I shell hard boiled eggs. Um, you take your egg, you've got just a glass quart jar, you drop it in and shake it. comes out, the peel just slides off. No egg is coming off. This is just all shell. So I've got one container for my shells, one container for my hard boiled eggs, and it's going to keep doing that for 10 more eggs. are eggs that I collected from my backyard hens and they are only about a week and a half old and the shells are still coming off this easily. And I just added a little bit of baking soda to the water when I boiled them and then as soon as I boiled for about 10 minutes I immediately put them into an ice water bath and now I'm just using this uh, last drop technique and they're all coming off that easily which is pretty insane. Now I've got my container of hard boiled eggs that are peeled and I've got my jar. I rinsed it out so there aren't any more eggshell particles in it and I've got my vinegar and my salt and my jalapeno peppers and pickling spice and just a measuring utensil. What you're going to do now is just put all of your eggs into the jar one by one. So 
some people say that you want to do like a layer of eggs and then some of the spices, but I usually just put them all in and do it at once. I find that it's just as easy to mix it together once the jar is full. So that's how 11 eggs fits into a quart jar. So, pretty well. Then I've got my recipe, which says two teaspoons of pickling spice. of jalapenos with their juice. The last time I did re this recipe, I did three tablespoons, and that wasn't, like it was a light jalapeno flavor, but it wasn't heavy. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more jalapeno flavored this time. Just one, two, three. I'm grabbing juice and the peppers. Four, five. There's that. Then I'm gonna do just like a pinch of salt. I just didn't want to use my fingers because my hands are wet from handling the eggs. And then you take your vinegar and you just top off the jar. I'll measure it out just so we have a better idea of how much vinegar we are using. So there's one cup. That was pretty close. You want your vinegar all the way to the top so it's covering the top egg. Perfect, so that was one and one quarter cups of vinegar. And then you're gonna take your, your lid and your ring. And since we're not actually gonna be um, pickled eggs, just when you do it at home, it's not safe to preserve it so that it's on your shelf. Um, so whenever you do pickled eggs, you're not gonna be processing the jars. I mean, some people do, but like if you if you talk to your local university, like food preservation um, scientists, they're gonna tell you that there's not really a safe way to process pickled eggs that they're shelf stable long term. So you're gonna need to keep these in your your refrigerator. And at this point, I just kind of mix it around to get the chunks of jalapenos on the bottom. Oh, so um, the lid doesn't need to be a new lid. It can be a reused lid because you're not going to be processing it. So that sealing agent doesn't need to be new and fresh because you're not actually going to be relying on the sealing agent. Yeah. Mix it around a little. And now, here we go. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about a week and then enjoy. I'm also a blogger, so if you want the recipe for these tasty jalapeno pickled eggs, look in the description below in this YouTube video, and I'll have a link to my blog post, which will have the ingredients for this recipe. Thanks.